Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Frolic Curb Your Enthusiasm theme, okay? One of my personal favorites and yeah, this theme is actually in a lot of like YouTube videos and stuff as well. It's a really fun and playful theme. So, this is what you can learn in today's lesson. There's a lot of stuff, so here we go. Here's a preview. It goes like this. Etc. Etc. But anyway, yes, okay, so how many sections? One, two, three, four parts to this lesson, okay? So, four parts, let's jump straight into it, okay? Quite a lot of stuff. So, right hand starts like this, okay? The three parts, the first three parts is actually a pattern to it, so you have to pay real attention to this lesson, okay? So it goes like this, the first part goes like this, starting on the B here, so middle C is here, go up an octave to this C, go up to B, it goes four Bs, and then B flat, and then four As, one, two, three, four, and then goes G sharp B, G sharp A, G sharp A, B flat, and then four Bs, two, three, four, and then B flat, and then four As again, and then B flat B, like that. Just like that for the right hand. So there's always this pattern for the first three parts. It's like the same pattern, but in different keys. So you have to remember this pattern. But anyway, one more time for this first part. So it goes like this. So it goes four Bs, B flat, and four As, two, three, four, and then G sharp B, G sharp A, G sharp A, B flat, and then four Bs, one, two, three, four, a B flat, and then four As, one, two, three, four, and then B flat B. And that's it for the right hand for the first part. So that's the right hand for the first part. Left hand, okay, we're doing block chords first. At the end, I'll tell you the pattern, chord pattern to it. But anyway, yeah, the four chords to this first part. The four chords are C major twice, which is C, E, G. It's two of them, followed by two B major chords, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, the two of them as well. Okay, eventually you find a pattern in the chords as well. So every part, uh, the chords is like played twice, followed by two uh, of the next major chord, one, half step lower, okay, there's always this pattern. But anyway, pretty awesome stuff. So it goes like this, two C major chords, followed by two B major chords, okay. So with that in mind, two hands together, goes like this. Okay, without the block, uh, without the pattern yet, we're doing the block chords first, so it goes together, and then B and C major together, and then B and B major together, B and B major together, just like that, and that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this, it goes, Just like that. Okay, moving on to the second part. The second part is actually pretty much exactly the same as the first part. The only thing is everything is moved down one whole step. So, which means two half steps as well, okay? So, from B, right, everything, okay, the first few notes was B in the first part. So, moving up, uh, moving down one whole step will be, so, uh, to A, because two half steps, which is B flat to A, that's two half steps to A. Everything is that, and even the chords and stuff. But anyway, yeah, it's translated directly like that. But if you don't know how to kind of like translate from one key to another instantly, I'll tell you the notes right now. So, it just goes four A's, G sharp and the four G's, and then F sharp A, F sharp G, F sharp G, G sharp, and then four A's, G sharp, and then four G's, and then G sharp A, see? Okay, so you, can you see the pattern? It's actually exactly the same as the first part, but just everything is one whole step lower, or, or two half steps lower, same thing. Okay, but anyway, that's that. Okay, so with that in mind, it's good to practice these kind of like transposing right on the spot because that's what I did as well. I know that pattern is exactly the same, so that's why I went to that. But anyway, that's the right hand for this second part. Left hand, exactly the same thing, uh, but uh, as I said before, every chord is moved down uh, one whole step, okay? So yeah, continues to B flat major, which is B flat D F twice, and then down to A major twice, which is A C sharp E twice. Yeah, so those are the, f uh, I guess two times two, four chords, okay? So the four chords here, B flat major twice and two A major chords, okay? So the two hands together, the placement is exactly the same, just goes like this, together, 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 
it up. Just like that, and that is the second part. Okay, so I'm gonna play the first two parts back to back so you can see the patterns and see what's the same um, in terms of the pattern. Check it out, so it goes like this. Moving on, the third part is actually exactly the same pattern once again, but everything is another whole step lower compared to the second part, okay? So right hand, once again, just the same pattern. It goes four Gs, F sharp, and then four Fs, and then E, G, E, F, E, F, F sharp, and then four Gs, F sharp, and then four Fs, F sharp, G. Just like that. It's a very genius theme. It's like just the same pattern, but it sounds really nice, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this. Uh, so it goes G, 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 F sharp, four Fs, and then E, G, E, F, E, F, F sharp, and then four Gs, F sharp, and then four Fs, and then F sharp, G. Just like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the fourth and last part. Well, not last part, sorry, third part. For, well, you can say this is the last part in terms of like the three parts where we're doing the same thing but just in a different key every single time. But that's that for the right hand. Left hand, four chords here, once again, it's the same pattern. So uh, it's A flat major twice, which is A flat, C, E flat, so two of them, followed by two G major chords, which is G, B, D, so two of them as well. So, with these four chords in mind, so two A flat major chords followed by two G major chords, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes like this, right hand. So it's off once again, so oh, the same pattern, same placement, so it's gonna It's gonna It's gonna Just like that, okay? So, one more time, so it goes like this So it goes It's gonna It's gonna And that's it for the third part, okay? So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this Check it out pattern, left hand, all the chords is always like two chords follow, And then it's like half step downwards, half step downwards, half step downwards, etc But in the right hand also, the whole parts, every single part It's always the same pattern as well So all these patterns are very important in learning stuff It allows you to learn stuff super quickly Okay, but anyway, check, check this out So it goes like this Just like that, okay? So, pretty awesome stuff, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, fourth and last part. Finally, changes up, it's different, okay? So right hand, it goes G up to D, C, B, G, G, C, D, B, G, like that for the right hand. Okay, finally, different pattern, finally, okay? But anyway, one more time, so it goes like this, G, D, C, B, G, G, C, D, B, G, and that's it for the right hand for this last part. Left hand, we have, uh, I guess, uh, you can say, th three chords plus four bass notes, okay? So, the three chords are C major, C, E, G, then we have, uh, or it's kind of like a D minor plus the fourth, so it's like D, F, G, okay? And then back to C major, which is C, E, G. And then that, we have four bass notes, which is, you can do octaves you want, but, okay, uh, you can do individual notes as well if you can't reach it. So D, down to G, A, B, like that. You can't really see my hand, but it's octave, okay? So from D to D is an octave, okay? So D, G, A, B, those are the four bass notes at the end, okay? But anyway, so basically, this fourth part for the left hand, we have a chord here, C major, and then we have this D minor with the fourth, that's the high note, and then C major, and then bass notes, D, G, A, B, like that. Okay, two hands together, goes like this, it goes like this, right hand starts first. Ta-da! Yeah. Notes like that, okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, okay. So back to back, we we'll just go back to the start and it just goes like oh, yes, etc. Okay, but anyway, yeah, okay. Now that you kind of like learned how everything is pieced together, uh, okay, I'll tell you, tell you the pattern to do uh, for all the chords now. So for the left hand, for all the chords, right? So for C major, that's the example, you want to do this pattern. So do the lower note. Or root note, I mean, sorry, and then followed by the higher two notes in the chord. And then you take the highest note here and you put it an octave below, and then the higher two notes again. And it's always this four note uh, kind of like pattern for the chords, okay? So to use those for all the chords, even like this, like that, B major. 
major as well, etc. And the B flat major, same thing, A major, same thing, etc. Okay, and also, yeah, just be going like this throughout the whole way. Check it out. Okay, yeah, and then you pause here because I like to pause it here. And then it goes to continue on. Okay, so that's what you do to apply the pattern the um, da, dun, da, dun, da, throughout the whole way, okay? So if you can't coordinate your left hand to do that, practice the melody and chord version more, then get it very articulate and remember it fully, then you can try to apply the pattern for like training hand independence. But anyway, yeah, it's an easy way to kind of do it like that because um, it just, your brain is uh, easier to kind of adapt to this method because um, you learn the, it's kind of like, the blocks is like the left hand block, the right hand block, and then you're substituting other stuff for the left hand as well. So it's kind of like an easier way to kind of like train yourself to um, into hand independence. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really fun theme. I really like this theme myself personally. So yeah, hope you do as well. As for now, yeah, enjoy this. Enjoy my other piano tutorials on my channel. I have over like 2,600 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. Check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my methods. Link in the description below. And yeah, enjoy time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.